Hey, thank you, everybody. Um, so uh, as Chief Lamb mentioned, the next thing that we want to do is just show a demonstration of the snowplow tracker in action during one of the, the recent snow events that we had in the last couple of weeks. Um, so first of all, I want to just uh, provide a couple of overview th uh, things to orient you to what you'll see on the site. Uh, and then we'll get in and talk a little bit about some of the specific features of, of the snowplow tracker itself. Um, so first thing, in the upper right-hand corner uh, of the site, you'll see a legend that will explain what symbols you uh, see on the map. Uh, the first symbol there is a green truck icon. The green truck icon will represent where Public Works vehicles are at the current time. We're not showing every Public Works vehicle that has a GPS device installed, only those that work specifically on snow and ice control. Uh, the next thing that you'll notice on the map are some blue circle icons. Those circle icons actually represent a cluster of vehicles on the map. So for example, a cluster of vehicles may show up at a public works facility during a shift change. They may also show up at a salt dome as people are queuing up to be refilled with salt during a storm. Um, if you double click on the blue icon, as, as we just did in the video, you'll be able to drill in and see the individual vehicles that are um, shown within that cluster. Clicking on the green icon will uh, allow you to see, for that particular vehicle, the last time it moved. One thing that's important to note is that we are only showing vehicles that have moved within the last four hours, because those are the vehicles that are actively involved in snow and ice control. The next thing that users will be able to do is actually click uh, within the legend on a snow and ice levels tab. This will reiterate the information that Chief Lamb explained is on the snow resource page about the different levels and our uh, public works response times that correspond to those. Uh, residents will also be able to see the definition of the different street classifications. So whether it's a primary street, a uh, city emergency route, or a secondary street, because that uh, distinction is important. It, it, um, our snow and ice control is targeted primarily to primary routes first, um, so knowing um, what those levels are will be important. Okay, uh, the next thing that we want to do is actually um, display some of the features that uh, Director Gable talked about before. Uh, so the first thing that we're going to do is actually uh, show how you can use the address bar, which is shown in the upper left-hand corner of the screen, to zoom into a particular address. And for this demo, we're going to uh, zoom into the city county building address, 414 Grant Street. And you'll see that the map will refresh and a star icon will be placed on the map that corresponds to the address you entered. Next thing we want to cover is the uh, vehicle history display that's listed at the bottom of the snowplow tracker site. Um, the important thing to recognize here is that uh, if the track or the uh, icon is all the way to the right of the uh, scroll bar, uh, that will only show the current location of Public Works vehicles on the map. As you slowly move the uh, slider to the left, uh, as we're doing here in the video, uh, you will see additional history trails fill in on the map. So if we have a two-day snow event, we would be showing two days of history that users would be able to uh, look at on the snow tracker. If it's only a, you know, a six-hour snow event, we would only see six hours. So that, that history will be controlled by uh, the actual snow event uh, that's taking place. Next, if you click on one of the green icons or one of the green history trails on the map, uh, as uh, we was discussed before, you can see which um, when that uh, street was last traveled on. So you can see the info window comes up to show uh, that a plow and spreader was on this street at a certain time. Again, as we mentioned before, some of the streets you'll see a darker green line, whereas um, certain streets you'll see a, a lighter green line. The darker green line will indicate that multiple vehicles have passed on that street. And what we're showing in the info window when you click on that is just the most recent pass of the vehicle. The, uh, the last thing to, to point out is that you can reset the map by clicking the reset map button in the lower right hand corner of the snowplow tracker and that will take you out so that you can view the full city. Um, and again, you could use the address bar to, to zoom to another address uh, of your choosing.